Hey all friends and welcome to the channel, Bob here and I think this will probably be my last video before Green is released. Um, I'll probably spend the rest of the day playing Star Citizen which uh, which I'm really enjoying and uh, yeah I'll, I'll, and even if it's not your bag I would really appreciate it if you went over and just clicked on those videos and just maybe give them a like, you know, it kind of helps. <laughs> I kind of got big plans for the channel going ahead, presuming that I'm healthy enough to do it. So yeah, those kind of things do help. I know it's not generally my bag, but I think ultimately it gets to a point where, yeah, um, if you want your channel to go places, then you need to do these kind of things. But anyway, this video is going to be a shame and, kind of a shame and race guide. Um, I should probably give a bit of a disclaimer first and say that, you know, this is not, um, this is just my opinion. I know everyone's got opinions about what's best and what's not. This is just my opinion. Uh, yeah. And if you've got any queries or questions, that's fine. I can maybe do a follow up video. If you disagree, at least keep it, you know, reasonable. If, if it's at all possible on the internet, I've really got no idea. Anyway, um, yeah, so let's kick this off. So I think that, um, so you've got barbarians, ogres and trolls originally well initially on the green server xr obviously uh, not yet um i think the, the, the most important thing to say i think is that you can't really make a bad choice all of the um racial bonuses um do benefit in in different areas depending on you know depending on what you're doing whether you're in a group environment solo environment etc um but i do think that at the end of the day come you know kunark even probably when Torpers available, you know. Um, shamans are so powerful that it, it becomes not a not a, not a moot point, but you know, but pick, pick what I think. Pick what you like. The looks of is the most um, important thing. Um, but we'll go through the races one at a time. I think first of all, the, the, the barbarian. We'll start on the barbarians. I think it's probably the best place to start. Um, they're the I guess they're the, the only shaman race that would be classed as um, good. I guess. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, they're they're all they're, they're quite. I think they're quite you know they're all about justice and i think they're quite strict and serious about what they do but um yeah i think that they're probably what you would class as the, the good race and i guess i guess the alignment is probably the thing to talk about first of all um you know as a barbarian um I, I mean, you've got more choices you know i, I would say that most people um, if you're an ogre or a troll, if you want to buy your spells or train, for example, you know the, the middle of the middle of of the main continent is kind of, you know, the only places you can go essentially. Um, with barbarians, of course, you know some people actually don't like the fact that um, uh, you know Halas is kind of all right right at the one end of one of the continents, so it's pretty much the as far as you can go before you can't go any further. But the, I think the good thing about being a, a good aligned um, uh, race is that if you're at the other end of the continent you can use freeport whereas as a troll or an, an ogre you're not going to be able to do that if you're on um not ogres if you're on um i can't remember the name of the continent now but if you're on um you know the the uh, uh the, the, the wood elves and the gnome um continent you can I, I believe you can also use their cities as well and the dwarf one as well i'm, I'm assuming you might not be you know friends but i think you can use them so it's certainly a plus you do you do have option you know you do have more options but obviously for, for each race i mean even the ogres and trolls because the shaman guilds don't like each other essentially you still need to go to your hometown to buy spells and i guess barbarian has you know in theory got the furthest to go <laughs> to get their spells i guess the thing what, what i i guess what you should be doing is if you can afford it is probably buy when you go and buy your spells for a particular level um just buy the yeah buy the next ones as well if you can afford it that's probably going to be the thing to do from a stats point of view there isn't really much to talk about um out of the three races mentioned barbarians have slightly higher wisdom but they've got less strength and stamina so um you know that's strength and stamina not super important to a um to a shaman but certainly, I mean, the ogre stats are very good, so so they do help slightly. You've also got a five percent XP penalty, um, yeah, which is the smallest, you know. So you you'll be leveling quicker, essentially. Other things are looks. I mean, a lot of people just can't stand to look at the ogres and trolls. Um, yeah, so looks wise, you know, you can be a polar bear um, in in Kunark, which is 
Yeah, which is for, 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 for some people that's all that that's all that matters. Essentially, that's the most important thing. Um, you can wear a polar bear um, helm. Looks like a polar bear head. Again, that's another another thing. And I must confess that the armors, like pretty much all of the armors, look good on um, the barbarian. Even like just chain, you know, or, or banded. Whereas I think the other race is not so much, particularly the ogre. Um, yeah, but but start, starting stamina is hundred. Starting wisdom is eighty. So, you know, that's that's fine. I mean, I I'm going to put in all of my um, points into wisdom as much as I can, and then rest in stamina, I guess. Unless you're an ogre where there's an agility penalty because you're on seventy. But yeah, it's um, yeah, barbarians great, um, look great, good race, level level the fastest, and yeah, just all round good. I think next next we'll try. Let's go on to the trolls. Um, trolls have got slightly higher um, strength and stamina. Uh, wisdom is ten points lower though, so you know that might be a consideration. Um, they're an evil race. You can only buy your spells in um, your hometown. You know, there, there's no you, you can't go to the the ogre uh, shane unless you can raise the faction in some way. But what I found is that raising as an ogre, for example, raising the troll shaman faction. Um, kind of hits other troll, um, other troll factions. It seems I've generally found. So I'm not sure if they're trying to keep you out of each other's <laughs> um, shame and areas. But yeah, but as a troll, you'll need to go to your hometown to buy your um, your spells. Um, I guess let's look at if we look at things like um, I, I guess looks. You know, as I said, I think that's probably one of the most one of the most important things. I actually really like trolls in pretty much all of the armor um even banded looks it's got like a chain effect so that that looks so i like that it looks really good um the totemic armor looks really good on trolls you know if you get a full full viewable set looks amazing you know really like it um you've got some you got you got you got i'm not sure if the quests are available initially but you do have um uh, symbol quests, deity symbol quests. So there's a symbol of Kazik Fool or, or symbol of um, Inaruk. Uh, the Kazik Fool one, I think, is like a. I know a couple of people. I mean, most people go on about the Inaruk one. is like a game change, but I mean, I had one in, and for quite a long time, and it got to a point where I barely used it. You know, it was so. Um, the casting time was so long, and the, the duration of the effect was so short. That in the end, it just I just stopped using it. So, and, and I know a couple of people have, um, have uh, yeah, said they really like the the Kazik Fall one, which is a, a, a scare. I think it's a scare, um, a, a fear undead. So I, so I imagine there's a couple of um, there are some zones later on, particularly in Kunar, where that might become a bit more, um, yeah, a bit more um, usable. There, 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 I'm sh I think I'm sure there's a Panic Animal one as well, but. I heard that wasn't working particularly well. Um, yeah, so pff, I, I'm not sure about that. I can't, won't comment on that because I'm not 100 sure. But but obviously the big the big thing with trolls is the regeneration. There's always a big battle on the internet about troll ogres. What's the best? Blah blah blah. At the end, it doesn't matter, of course. Um, you know, but yeah, but regeneration is amazing, and I think particularly in um, I think particularly in um, uh, like classic, like before Kunark comes out, I think that it'll probably be probably be even more so. I mean, if you look at like at level fifty is going to be the maximum of Kunark, so um, you don't really get too much of a bonus with regards from standing, but like sitting, you you get twice as many uh, twice as many you regen twice as many hit points. So it's eight a tick, um, ten ticks in a minute. That's 80, 80 points as opposed to forty points a minute um, for. Uh, for barbarians and ogres, that will go for exiles as well when Kunite come, comes out. The thing with regeneration is, is that it just—I'm not sure if they thought maybe it wasn't good enough. <laughs> but from 51 to 60, it takes a massive jump. So at 51, it goes up to 12, whereas um, barbarians and ogres, it's five. Then at, at 56, it goes up to 16 against six, and then 18 against six that's sitting so standing it goes six ten and twelve so like at level 60 you've almost got a fungi tunic just standing up which is amazing from a regeneration point of view um and i certainly think that i certainly think that if you're going to be 
a grouping shaman, um, and may, maybe even maybe even uh, maybe even if you're going to be soloing root rotting, you know that extra regeneration for the extra mana might be a might be a good thing. I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, I mean, I, I have played a troll to 50, and uh, I, w I was just beginning to notice how good the regeneration was. It, it does make a huge difference. Um, even on the early levels, it, you know, it, it's pr at all times it's twice as much as the other, the other two races. So there's always a bonus there, and I guess you're always regenerating health at, at twice, twice as much, and that goes up substantially, like three times as much at 60. So, so yeah. Um, Regeneration is amazing, and I think it will probably be even better um, with regards to um, when we're talking about sort of classic, you know, before Kunark comes out, I think it's probably going to be uh, more, of, more of an important factor. Um, it goes up more, you know, when you've got... It goes up more, obviously, when Kunark comes out, but I think I think at that point, if you can get Torpor... Um, I still think it, some people say once you get Torpor, it doesn't matter. I don't think so, because you're always regenerating that mana. Even running around at sixty, you're all, sorry. You're always regenerating that health. So, and as a, as a shaman, whatever you're doing, you probably should never be at full health. So, it's always ticking over. But you do get the you do get torpor, you do get a, a, a fungi. You can get a fungi tunic, which will kind of then help some of the other races. But um, yeah, uh, regeneration is amazing. Um, and at sixty, it's like having your own fungi tunic, even when you're standing out running around. So. Yeah, and 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 the, the trolls look great. The trolls look great in um, um, in all the armors. I find it when you know the Kunark stuff. When you get up to the Velia stuff, I think they look particularly good. So yeah, from a looks point of view, uh, pretty awesome. Um, moving on to ogres. Well, ogres are my favourite, but primarily from a law point of view, um, I love the ogre law. Um, I love the ogre models. Might, might sound a bit weird. But that is that is an absolutely true statement. <laughs> I just like the um, what I find with the trolls myself is that the they feel I'm not sure why it matters, but they feel a bit less solid. They got skinny arms and shoulders and whatnot. And it all just feels a bit less solid. Um, yeah, and the ogre look for whatever reason uh, just suits me down to the ground. I really really like it. So that is definitely a, a consideration. But I can understand why it might put some people off. Let's talk about the looks first of all on the ogre. I mean, the armors generally look really poor. Actually, um, the the plate stuff. So something like totemic looks really, really nice. So if you can get a full set of viewable totemic, which I would be hoping to do, um, it looks awesome. Um, but but chain like it. Like unfortunately, a fungi tunic looks terrible on an ogre, and it's such a. Ah, uh, I mean, you know, my ogre on blue has got one. And I just hate running around wearing it because it just looks terrible. It looks like a vest. Um, and I just find it such a shame that it's that that's the case. Uh, but what, what can you do? You know, that's just uh, uh, that's just how it is. But the Velius armors look beautiful. The, the like the the greeny turquoisey stuff almost. I can't remember what it's called. It looks great. The Arctic wife and stuff looks great on all of the models as well. So from a looks point of view, I think from an armor from armor pieces, armor from the armor models, uh, probably not as good. Stats are great: 130 strength, 120 27 stamina. Those stats don't make a huge amount of difference to a to a shaman in the long run. But I think early on, like strength for carrying and also strength for getting those maximum hits, stamina for a, a few hit points more, I think is. Uh, I think is great. Um, you get more stamina than you only get. You, you've only got three less wisdom than a than a barbarian. Seven more than the troll. But you but you've got to put your. So I would go twenty five wisdom, and then you've got to put your five points into agility because you only get seventy agility, um, and you get um, you get AC penalties for agility below seventy. You do get. I mean, you do actually get an agility buff pretty early on. Um, which which will negate that that problem. So you could put the point somewhere else, maybe into stamina. Um, for a shame, and because you're you're the stat king, stat buffing king. Um, points points don't really matter so much, but I guess just for convenience, if you don't want to keep casting it, um, yeah. And you you've got enough stamina anyway, and you can buff stamina. So yeah, not a 
not a problem. Um, and then it comes to the frontal stun immunity where you get all the arguments. Um, a lot of people on the forum say that frontal stun, stun immunity is overhyped. I, th but I think people on the forums try to underhype it. I'm not sure if it's because of their decisions, you know, and they don't want to believe that something's better than regen or whatever. I don't know, but uh, people talk about uh, regen always being on. But the thing to remember is that frontal stun immu immunity is also always on. Um, I'm not sure about anyone else, but I know that as a, someone who's leveled a, leveled a troll um, and a barbarian, after about I think once mobs start to get well, once you once you start fighting mobs that are about level five ish roughly, um, they will start to stun you. You know they will start to bash and stun you or whatever it is, um, and that knocks you out of combat for a few seconds. You know so. And I find I found it very noticeable playing a shaman, playing a, an ogre, then going back to a troll. Um, uh, yeah, and standing there, and once you reach a certain level, if the mob stuns you, you stand there for a couple of seconds, not doing anything. Now, that might not be particularly, um, uh, you know, earth shattering. It might not cause you a huge problem, and I think in most cases it probably wouldn't. You know, because there are ways. Um, it's just something that you learn to live with, so you know it might happen, so you play around it. So, you know, if, if you're used to playing a troll or a barbarian, it's not something you notice. But as someone who's played all three, uh, I find it very noticeable going back, um, because I, I, I melee'd, melee'd a lot with my shamans, maybe it was more noticeable. Um, but it's worth it's, it's worth noting that front stun immunity is essentially always on once mobs st can stun you. Um, so for obvious, obviously from the front, sort of front, the front arc, um, and there's no reason why you wouldn't get all mobs in front of you. Um, but, but, but people say that once you get higher up in levels of soloing, you know, or helping to get your spells off, um, again, it's not much of an issue. I, I just don't agree with that. You know, I, I was in, I've been in lots of situations where um, I've had to gate um, or I've needed to get a root off. I've been, there's three or four mobs whacking on me and. Yeah, my spells, your spells just generally just don't fail. As long as you put yourself in a position where you're not getting pushback, which you should always be doing. Um, my experience with front of Sun immunity, immunity is I will always channel for a stun, a, a spell. Other people's experiences might be different, but that's uh, but that's mine. So, uh, yeah, you know, I it's always on, and I think that it still is very useful uh, later on. I can think of, just off the top of my head, I can think of... Um, half a dozen instances that I remember that were quite, I remember them because they were quite funny where I needed to get a gate off. Um, I remember one particularly when I was when I was farming, uh, I can't remember what I was farming. I was farming something some, something in Kunark where you fight the, um, I can't remember the name of the mobs now. <laughs> Great research, Bob. But I, I was in, I was in um, Kunark farming something. All the mobs were green to me. They were a lot, lot lower level. But they were still in their thirties or whatever it was, you know. And um, yeah, I just I pulled about ten of them, and I got and I put myself in a corner, um, and I gated out. I was pretty. I was on about five percent health, and I managed and, and I, I just hit gate. Prayed to the gods. I was getting hit by literally loads. I mean, it was a lot of mobs. It was it was a I would say a dozen maybe. There was there was a lot. Um, and yeah, and gate just went off, and I survived. And uh, yeah, so. Uh, regen's great, but front stun immunity is always great. You know, don't listen to people like this. Is a point where I'm going to say this is not an opinion. <laughs> this is actually through play. Um, don't let people on the forum tell you that front stun immunity is just is not all, all it's cracked up to be because you know it is. But you might not like the yoga model, which is probably more important. So you know, uh, choose something else. And I think that's probably it. I should mention that the Ogres have a 15% XP penalty and Trolls have a 20%. I don't think this matters with Classic, really, to be honest with you, because Kunark is not going to be available for a number of months. And I think whatever race you pick, you know, assuming that you're fairly dedicated to the Green Server and, and the Shaman that you pick, you'll get to 50 before Kunark. So don't worry about that too much. Um, some, other, some other things that I guess... Uh, co cover both of them so starting area is probably quite important um, I don't mind any of the starting areas but I saw someone on the forum today saying that they thought that um, um, the fear rot was, was, a, was, a, was, a, was a bad um, 
uh, was a bad starting zone. I don't think it is at all. You know, I think it, I think it's awesome. But what you do if, is, is if you just place yourself, um, just place yourself at the. I think it's at the Dark Elf um, monolith or statue thing that that's, that sits near the entrance to um, Ogok. There's a road just to the south of that or whatever the direction is it feels like it's south because it always feels like you're looking north but yeah there's a road just follow that road you'll find loads of skeletons loads of frog locks not frog locks uh, lizard men um you'll get frog lock tads as well and um all of those mobs drop um all those mobs drop uh, weapons and armor so and for some reason the frog lock tads have got a strange a strange um um item on a strange item table because they also seem to drop armor and weapons as well which is quite weird yeah but but i i love the fear of starting just keep on that road you know and you'll get to sort of level four or five no problems you can think about moving on um in a full swamp is great you know just outside um there are skellingtons frog locks um kobolds you know they will all drop weapons and armor um you can then move on to the frog locks outside of um uh Guck, which is what you would do as an ogre as well. Um, yeah, and and Everfrost, you know, Halas, the Barbarians, I love the starting zone there. I think it's awesome. Um, loads of Skellingtons. Uh, there are some quests to give you some armour and stuff early on. Uh, level 1's a bit of a bummer because um, the bears and the and the wolves that um, are the most abundant are level 2. So you kind of have to try and find goblins and Skellingtons until you get to level 2. Um, and then the spiders and the uh, the wolves and the bears kind of open up for you. So uh, yeah, um, so so I love all three starting areas. I don't have a favourite to be honest. So I think you'll be fine as it is. Um, I don't think there's much else for, for me to cover. All of you, all of them can wear a totemic because they're all they can all wear a plate. Um, later on, you'll be able to use a jaundice brown bracer for all three races, but not the XR. So that's maybe something to um, maybe something that would be uh, would be a, something for you. And I think that's probably about all I can suggest. Really, I, I do. Um, I'll be going um, twenty-five wisdom, and then five stamina, probably, or maybe five into agility if I'm an ogre. Other than that, yeah, there isn't really much else to say. I mean, I'll what I'll be doing is trying to get Burst of Flame at le level one damage spell as soon as I can because it just means that you can pull thing pull things to you. I think it's one gold something. So if you get a weapon drop or an armor drop, I'll be going straight into my uh, yeah my um, vendors and buying Burst of Flame. Um, it was interesting sort of playing when I did the Barbarian Shaman. It wasn't on a green server, it was on the blue. And it's interesting, you get to level 5 and level 9 and you kind of have to think about the spells that you want. Um, so, like, I think for level 5, like, Frost Rift is a, a definite... Uh, I think Gate you can buy quite cheaply, depending on where you get it from. So Gate's probably the next one I would buy. I then maybe wouldn't worry too much about the other ones. Um, I'm not sure how much, how much use you'll get out of Drowsy. It's like a 11% slow at level 5, so I'm not sure. I think level 9 is kind of where you want to put your money. Spirit of Wolf, Spirit of Bear, um, Tainted Breath. That, that's kind of what I'll be saving up for. Serpent Sight, maybe, if you're a barbarian. <laughs> that's the other thing I probably should have mentioned, is that um, Ogres and Trolls get Improvision. Um, barbarians get nothing until level 9, so yeah. Um, there's going to be some some dark nights for you barbarians even the ogres and trolls like I was in a, in a full swamp at night when it was raining and the view you know the actual the vision wasn't much better than barbarians to be honest so I think that the I think the shaders they're using to recreate the dark look is also having an impact on um, yeah other other races as well but I think I've covered everything really uh, we've covered stats um, a good way I, I find out working out the best stats is to see what the totals. So see what I normally add together uh, stamina and wisdom, um, so you can see where you're getting your bang from buck from. Essentially, and I think the ogre kind of wins that. It's, it's not a you know it's not it's not a hard and fast rule, but it's a rule there. But I think we've covered everything: faction, um, XP penalties, abilities. Yeah, 
starting areas. I think that's it. If, if, if there's any questions you want answered, then please leave them in the um, please leave them in the comments, and I'll try and answer them. Um, my, my favourite is the ogre, but it's purely down to the law, and, and I just love the giant baby models. Yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.